Okay, so what I'm... Okay, so what I'm gonna show you all how to do this week is make an HTML5 photo booth. Specifically, what we're gonna be doing is writing a web application with HTML5 and JavaScript that allows us to take pictures with a webcam using only a web browser. No other extensions or plugins required. Before you jump into this project, however, there's some prerequisites that you kinda need to know. HTML basics, JavaScript basics, and HTML5 basics. If you don't know these, old Gigafied's got you covered. Just click one of these videos to find their perspective tutorials. There's more knowledge here than there are flies on a hobo. <laughs> to get the full code for what we're going to be making, you can visit the Tinkernut Wiki at this link. To get started, you're going to need a web browser that supports HTML5. And at this point, most of them do, so long as you have the most updated version of that browser. You're also gonna need a text editor. I prefer Notepad++. And lastly, you're gonna need a web hosting provider. A good free one to use is triplezeowebhost.com. And no, they're not a sponsor, but by George, they really should be, shouldn't they? So get your Red Bull, your Gunner gaming glasses, and let's crank out some code until the cows come home. Let's get started with the easy part, the main page. Go ahead and open up a text editor and create the basic HTML web page structure. In the body, add an HTML5 video element and give it an ID attribute of webcam. You can also add height and width attributes if you want to make the video larger or smaller. Then make a button input with an ID of snap picture and a button value of snap a picture. Lastly, let's attach a JavaScript file to the web page called script underscore photo dot js, which we'll create in a second. But for now, just go ahead and save this file as photobooth.html and upload it to your server. You can test it out by navigating to the photobooth.html web page on your server. It should be a blank page with a button that doesn't do anything. So make it do something cool already, gah! Make a new document in your text editor and save it as script underscore photo dot js. This is going to be where everything awesome happens. Start off by calling navigator dot get user media, which is the script that will allow us to access our webcam. If all browsers work the same, this would be the only script that you would need. But since they don't, we have to include options for the Mozilla, WebKit, and Microsoft browsers as well. Next, make an if statement that checks if get user media contains any data, else if there's an error, show an alert. If it does contain data, tell the get user media what streams to take, and for this project we're just going to use the video stream. And then run a function if the stream is successful and run a different function if it fails. Let's go ahead and write those functions now. Create the onSuccess function by passing it the video stream and just tell it to pop up an alert message saying that the connection was successful. Now do the onError function that pops up an alert that says, well, hopefully by this point you should guess what it should say. Then save the JavaScript file and upload it to your server. Now if you browse to photobooth.html, you should be prompted to allow or deny access to your webcam. And depending on which one you choose, you'll either get a success message or an error message. How exciting. All right, then let's spice it up. Back in the JavaScript file, instead of having the onSuccess function show a message if the video stream is successful, let's display that video stream to the video element of our web page. Create a variable called vidContainer and set it equal to our video element by calling its webcam ID. And let's set it so that it auto plays whenever a video is sent to it. Then create a variable for our video streaming source. We could just say that vid source equals stream. But since not all browsers are the same, again we have to add an if statement to include options for other browsers. Then all we have to do is set our video container source to equal the streaming source. Go ahead and save and upload it again, and at this point you should now see your shiny visage mugging back at you. Isn't that nice? Photo op time! Open up your photobooth.html code back up, and let's add a new HTML5 element called canvas. This will store our captured picture, so give it an ID of capture. Save that and hop back over to our JavaScript file and let's add a new function called pick capture. 
Like our video capture, let's make a new picture variable that equals our canvas and make another variable called context that gets the picture's 2D context. After that, you can set the height and width to equal however large you want it and then draw the video container's current image. Align it to zero and zero for the X and Y coordinates and then set the height and width values. Now all we need to do is hook this function into our snap a picture button. So at the very top, make a new variable for our button and then attach an event listener to it that watches for clicks and that runs the pick capture function, returning false if there's an error. This time when you visit your web page, you'll see your webcam and if you click the button, it will grab a snapshot of you. But there's one problem with this. You can't save that image. So let's fix that with a quick little script. First, go to the photobooth.html code and add a new image tag with the ID of canvas ing and the alt text of right click to save. This will allow us to store a copy of the canvas as a savable image. So let's just go ahead and disable the visibility of the canvas altogether so that we're not displaying duplicate images. Save and upload this and jump back over to the script underscore photo JavaScript and in the pick caption function, create a new variable to store the canvas data and then set the image tag so that it equals this new variable. Save all of this and upload all of your changes and you're done. Visiting the web page this time, you should see your webcam and be able to click the button to take a snapshot and then right click on that image to save it. So what can this be used for? I don't know. The point was to show you how to make something functional out of HTML5 programming. So feel free to use this as inspiration to make something that's actually cool. Again, you can find the full code for this project at the Tinkernut Wiki. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or you can visit my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash gigafied for more cool tutorials. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Until next time, hack some fun into your week.